Georgia now. I'm with Kristen, and we've got glitter all over us, looking all cute. <laughs> this is Leo. How's it going? Oh my god, those glasses look so cute. These are Nirvana inspired actually. Yeah. Got them from Cheap. Fuck up a little bit. Did it? Oh yeah, it's a little bit. Do you want me to help you roll it up tight because I'm sitting down? So no, you can slide. Okay. Is this good enough? Do you no, here, give it to me. Look at this sweat. I don't want to get in touch with sweat. It's fine. My sweat?
Say hi, everyone. How are you guys? Are you guys dead or alive or what? Yeah, a bit of both. A bit of both, yeah. And this is our first festival together, which I say it's pretty successful. It's pretty fucking successful. But we're heading to the after parties now. We chilled out at the. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kick your. Shut up. Uh, excuse you, every time you do something dumb, you're like, oh, take a video of this so you can put it in your vlog. Oh, uh, that's true. No, you do it once and then I'm like, do it again. And then you're like, okay. And I'm like, wait, I gotta take a video. Anyways, we're heading to Villa now. And fuck, I'm sorry I didn't film so much today, but it will be fine. Like, I'll take more videos tonight. Okay, so let me give some context to this vlog, <laughs> okay? These were actually three festivals, and it might have looked like one, but I had so much fun at all three of these festivals that I didn't have enough footage for one video, so I thought it would be fun to just put three of those festivals together. And this wasn't like three festivals over a space of like a month. These were like three festivals in a space of four months. So that's why I look different in like each other clip or whatever, but I just wanted to end this video um, vlog little thing with a page from my trip diary, aka my mindful journal. So this page I'm not very proud of because like, I mean look at all these other pages. They're like so colorful and different and this page is just like orange and orange is not my favorite color but there are some important things in this book so this little um book which i advise all of you guys to get one of these like little mindful books uh when i'm sitting on the train when i'm bored i'll just draw on this and i really haven't done it recently because i've just been so busy with work and stuff so let's start off with the page the page looks like this as you can see yeah, so we'll start over here. It says, Claro, get with you, which is a song by Claro that I like, and I wrote it here because I knew I was going to talk about it, and I want to suggest that song to you, so I'll put it up in the cards. And here, I just wrote, like, the unit that I'm doing at uni because I had no extra paper. I have this thing that says, they keep staring at me, and I'm pretty sure I was on the train when I wrote that because I was being a little bit, like, anxious about, like, people staring at me. What the fuck? I had this whole video with my knee up here. Um, and then I have this, this whole orange but it says don't expect peace while you slaughter animals peace begins on your plate and i have something like that on my door which says you can't butcher animals and then expect peace peace begins on your plate i really think that you know starting to make a difference in the world really begins with yourself because you are the world when you change yourself you also change the world so don't try to change the world as in everything around you start with in here first change things that are in here maybe get rid of all your conditioning that you grew up with and if you want peace of mind then you also have to think about what you are consuming um also on this page over here it says i wonder who owns those sunglasses and i remember i wrote that when me and darren first started seeing each other and i went into his um room and there was like a female's sunglasses and it was probably just his housemate or something like i don't really care but I was like, hmm, like at that time we first got together, so I was a little bit suspicious and I wrote it down. And then over here, when I said like, um, don't put your animals and stuff, it says, this isn't advice, this is a plea. I'm not trying to give advice, I am begging you, I am pleading to you. Yeah, nothing much to it and just some patterns around it. In future videos, I will eventually go through this whole book and there's so many things I want to talk about. Like, so many things, okay? Yeah, I hope everyone is having an awesome week so far. And I hope everyone starts vlogging their lives. I hope people start writing in little journals just to get your thoughts out. Like, we really should be consuming 50% and produce 50%. Which is a reason why, like, when I read something, read something that I want to learn about, I will kind of write notes in this book because it's something that I want to remember. Because I'm flicking through this book all the time looking for space to draw in and I'm reading all the things that I write down so it really helps you like remember motivational quotes it helps you get rid of all the 
things that are like going on in your head because to me art is so therapeutic i used to be so anal with my art i used to be super super everything has to be straight everything had to be measured if it was a circle it had to be made by a compass i was super super anal with it and i remember my art teacher telling me like why are you freaking out that the circle isn't perfect that the line isn't perfect that it isn't measured perfectly when you don't have to make it perfect it's your art and i kind of started loosening up with my art because when i was in middle school i was really anal with my art and i just wouldn't do things i wouldn't complete my artwork because i would start off the circle wouldn't be perfect and i'd be like fuck this i'm not doing it anymore which is the reason why i have an incomplete circle tattoo which is incomplete because it's like you don't have to be perfect to be an artist who cares if it looks messy who cares if i can't read it in the future because this is my book and yeah i choose to share it with you guys but this is like seriously my thing therapy to loosen up not be a control freak because i just go with the flow like if i draw a line and it looks weird i might make it into a leaf or a caterpillar or anything else you know yeah i know this is a bit of a rant at the end of a fucking vlog but yeah i swear editing this video made me feel high and i'm i'm 100 percent sober but yeah everyone stay fucking lucid and love you guys so much bye